The manual transmission is dead. It's 2025 and there's only a few brand new cars that still come with the manual transmission. An end of an era has come and driving a manual feels like that final scene from Transformers. I'm gonna kinda go over and share my thoughts and opinions. I guess we'll start off with some common misconceptions. First off, that manual cars are faster and more efficient. This was true about 15 years ago when most cars had slow, heavy auto transmissions. But with advancements in technology, that is no longer the case. DCT, AKA dual clutch transmissions are much faster and more fuel efficient than a manual transmission. Now, just in case you don't know, I'll go over the basics of transmissions. First off with manual. When I'm referring to a manual transmission, I mean three pedals and a wiggly stick. A manual transmission requires the driver to physically engage the gears using a clutch pedal and a gear shifter. The driver controls the engine's power delivery to the wheels by manually selecting the appropriate gear. The driving experience offers a more engaging and tactile driving experience, giving the driver full control of the gear selection and engine revs. It can be fun for enthusiasts, but it demands more attention and coordination, especially in traffic. An automatic transmission uses a torque converter to shift the gears for you, adjusting the engine's power automatically based upon speed, load, and driving conditions. The overall driving experience of an automatic transmission is its ease of use. With no need to manually change the gears, it results in a more relaxed and comfortable driving experience. Unlike traditional automatic transmissions, a CVT transmission doesn't use fixed gears. It uses two pulleys connected by belts that can change their diameter, allowing the car to seamlessly adjust to an infinite number of gear ratios. This means the engine can always operate at the most efficient RPM. The driving experience in a CVT equipped car feels more smooth because there's no distinct distinct gear shifting sensation. The engine stays in optimal power range, but this also may feel less responsive or disconnected from the road. A DCT, also known as a dual clutch transmission, is essentially two manual transmissions paired together. One clutch controls the odd gear, while the other controls the even gears. The system pre-selects the next gear, allowing for almost instantaneous shifting with no loss of power. The driving experience of a dual clutch transmission offers lightning fast shifts, making it ideal for high performance cars and enthusiasts. The shifts are quicker than a traditional automatic and it often feels like a manual, but without the clutch pedal. So why are manuals less popular? Manual transmissions have significantly declined in popularity in recent years due to the combination of factors. First off is ease of use. Automatics are easier to drive. The biggest appeal of an automatic transmission is the simplicity they offer. Drivers don't need to worry about shifting their gears using a clutch. This makes them ideal for traffic, long trips, and city driving. The ease of use is a majority reason why more people opt for automatics. Manual transmissions require more skill. Driving a manual requires more attention and coordination. Especially in situations like stop and go traffic, for many, it's simply easier to let the car do its shifting with automatic. The second reason is technology advancements. The advancements in automatic transmission technology has made them more efficient and responsive. Dual clutch transmissions, as we said before, can offer smooth shifting and improve fuel economy. In the past, manual transmissions were more fuel efficient, but modern automatics close that gap or surpass manuals in efficiency. Now, automatic cars deliver similar or better fuel economy, which is a big selling point. A third reason is the lack of interest from younger drivers. Younger drivers, especially those living in cities, tend to prefer the convenience of an automatic. Many don't see the need to learn how to drive a manual since they don't often encounter a car with a manual transmission. Manual cars are becoming rare. As auto manufacturers increase the focus on automatics, manuals are becoming harder to find in new cars, especially in the US market. This means fewer young drivers are learning how to drive stick shift. That brings us to our fourth point, auto manufacturers focus on automatics. The reduced availability in manual transmissions, auto manufacturers realize that with the shift in consumers preferring automatic, many manufacturers reduce the availability of the manual transmission models. Some high performance cars still offer manuals, but mass market vehicles Vehicles like sedans, crossovers, and family cars rarely come with manual options. The cost to replace just a clutch in a manual car versus more complex repairs on an automatic transmission might have something to do with this, but that's just me speculating. Our fifth reason is a shift towards performance and comfort. Manuals are often associated with performance cars. While manuals are still popular in sports cars and enthusiast vehicles, they are increasingly seen with features for niche markets rather than mainstream drivers. Many performance cars come with dual clutch transmissions because they can shift faster and have better acceleration. And advanced features like automatic braking, cruise control, and other driving assist systems that pair better with automatics than manuals. In markets like Europe, manual transmissions are more common, but in places like the United States, the shift towards automatics is much more pronounced. In the US, automatics have become the standard with only small percentage of cars being still offered in a manual option. In summary, the decline of manual transmissions is largely due to the convenience, fuel efficiency, and performance of modern automatics. Combined with the shift in consumer preferences, the automotive market continues to evolve, especially with electric vehicles becoming more prevalent. The need for traditional manual gearboxes will continue to decline.